Hello, good people, and welcome to the A to Z of social entrepreneurship with myself and Ziggy and Kize. We've been running through our series, going through all the letters of the alphabet, giving you 26 things to think about if you want us to start a social enterprise, whether that is registered as a PTY or as a nonprofit. And we are finally at the end of our series. So excited and so glad to finally be wrapping it up. So let us get into this episode's work. In our final episode, we're at the end of the alphabet, so obviously we're looking at the letter Z. And for the letter Z, I thought we should talk about a zero-cost strategy. Now, the most important thing if you are a startup, if you are a non-profit and you don't have a lot of funding coming in, if you don't have any donations, or you know if your resources are drying up, or if you're just simply bootstrapping in your business, you need a zero-cost strategy to help you get to market, stay in the market, grow, whatever it is. And generally, um, a zero cost strategy is a strategy that you implement that doesn't cost you any additional money or any additional um, cash resources. Um, and it really just allows you to use what you already have at your disposal in order to maximize your business, the asset that is your business, um, whatever efficiencies that you're implementing. It allows you to figure out how to be more efficient using what you have. Um, and I know sometimes there is a tendency and there is a temptation to want to look outwards so to see what else is out there to look for funding to look for assistance and oftentimes we miss the fact that what we have internally in our own organizations just hasn't been maximized to the best and um, that it could for example in one of our previous episodes we had a look at how you can bring in new products to your existing customers or take your existing product to new customers or how you can create new products and new customers all together or how to maximize your offering to your existing customers and that's really where the magic is if you can take what you already have what you're already doing and just refine that process that can allow you to maximize what you're doing and bring in revenue maximize your business whatever your targets are it allows you to reach those targets without putting down more revenue in your business so if you are cash strapped and new money's not coming in um, and if maybe you're thinking about, you know, maybe I should pivot, whatever it is, uh, before you take the next step, I invite you to just sit back and objectively audit your business, think about what you can do better, and then go and do it. And that will allow you to implement a zero cost strategy because we're startups <laughs> and maximize on your business without having to put in. Uh, new resources and I hope that really helps you and you can find a unique angle to maximize without hitting your pocket now this is the end of this one so I won't be saying I'll see you on the next edition uh, but I hope that this series has helped you and it has helped you just think about a few things a little differently or spark something for you to kind of put towards your business With that being said, I would like to invite you to join our Mentor Social Impact Founders Club. It is our unique mentorship community that is designed for female founders who are wanting to create social enterprise businesses. So if you want to create something that has purpose and impact, if you are a non-profit and you want to pivot and be able to create some kind of revenue for your business, we are happy to help you explore alternative business models but join us in our community um, and you can send an email to membership at mentor.co.za we also love to share with you inspirational content um, in our quarterly publication of mentor magazine so you can head over to our website at www.mentor.co.za to check out some of that content but also connect with us across social media at mentor underscore int uh, we'd love to hear your story we'd love to hear how you're doing in business but also to connect with you and to keep the inspiration going as you design a life and business of purpose and impact. I'll be seeing you online and hopefully inside our community. Cheers.